Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for uh, the invitation. I will uh, present um, um, how we made uh, the exposure map of uh, shrinking and swelling clay that uh, Lamin uh, presented uh, quickly uh, um, a few minutes ago. So, um, first line is some, uh, some illustrations. Uh, Lamin uh, showed us uh, comparable uh, photo photos to, to show you what uh, are the damages caused by uh, shrinking and swelling clays, um, mostly um, on um, houses. So, um, what what is uh, the shrinking and swelling clay uh, phenomenon? It's a ground movement caused by a volume change of clay minerals. Uh, this uh, volume change is itself caused by change in water content. Um, during uh, the hydration phase, uh, the clays swell, and during desiccation, the clay shrink. It's a swelling and shrink shrinkage. The problem comes from heterogeneous variations in water content, and this heterogeneity causes uh, differential settlement. Uh, it's uh, illustrated here. Um, the soils under the house um, uh, has uh, its water content stable, whereas uh, in, in the vicinity around the, the house, the soil um, is um, um, it shrinks because of uh, desiccation. And depression settlement is what causes uh, cracks in the houses. So um, the phenomenon is, uh, uh, can be explained by different factors. Uh, the first family is predisposing factors, and mainly uh, the main uh, predisposing factor is the nature of, of soils, of the clay soils. And uh, we can uh, tell about uh, the clay content, uh, the thickness of the clay soil, and uh, the clay minerals that uh, are present. We talked uh, rapidly um, of different families of um, Clay soils, for example, uh, smectite, uh, uh, momorionite, etc. Another predisposing factor is the geomorphology. Um, if, for example, the house is built uh, on a slope, if there is a water nearby, for example, um, surface water, uh, a river, etc., and we talked about. Uh, um, uh, water table, uh, uh, shallow water, and the presence of uh, vegetation. It's, uh, well, Lamine uh, told us about uh, the importance of the presence of uh, trees uh, near the house. The second family of factors is the triggering factors. And the first one is drought. Uh, we, we talk about uh, shrinking and swelling clays, but in uh, metropolitan France, uh, the main problem comes from shrinkage and uh, caused by drought. And uh, drought is the combination of high temperature and rainfall deficit. Uh, the triggering of uh, uh, the sh shrinking clays uh, depends uh, on uh, the climate history. For example, we, we have observed that we have a cumulative uh, uh, rainfall deficit um, during several years, um, during winter and during summer. Uh, what can trigger the drought is um, the contrast in water content between winter and summer. For example, if we have a, a very um, wet uh, winter, 
uh, and um, a very um, dry summer immediately after. Um, we have the example of the year 2018. Um, the, win the winter was very wet. We had uh, 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 a very high level of uh, the Seine, for example, and uh, some and the uh, uh, river flood in some uh, sectors. And uh, the summer of uh, 2018 was very dry. And um, so there was a high contrast between uh, winter and summer. And there are other factors, anthropogenic factors, for example, uh, modification in the environment, uh, uh, construction of new buildings, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Some figures, uh, Lamin uh, gave us uh, some. It's more or less the same, presented differently. Um, since 1989, um, shrinking and swimming clays uh, have cost more than 22 billion euros uh, for the natural catastrophe um, regime in France. Now it's uh, around 40% of municipalities that have been impacted by shrinking and swelling clays. And it's more than 60,000 natural disaster decree since 1989. So um, it's uh, between two and uh, three a decree per municipalities uh, on average. Um, what is, this is um, uh, another reading of these figures. The um, yearly average cost between uh, 1989 and 2015 is around 450 million euros. And since 2016, uh, the average has raised to 1.3 billion uh, euros. So it's uh, three times. Um, so shrinking and swelling clays cause around 30,000 damaged houses per year. And the average cost is 24,000 euros per house. Uh, there are 12 droughts in the top 20 climate events. Uh, it's a little bit uh, small, but uh, um, the, the first uh, event is uh, the drought of 2022, and uh, followed by um, Irma in 2017. Uh, since 1989, uh, shrinking and swelling clays is the second most costly phenomenon after floods, but uh, Lamine said and, um, that uh, since 2011, it has become the, the most uh, costly phenomenon for natural catastrophe. So for um, those figures uh, sh uh, show that uh, it's important to to map the phenomenon uh, for um, prevention. And um, the mapping program started at the end of the, the 90s. Um, the first uh, tests were conducted um, in 1998. And the program, um, uh, all the, the maps were made between uh, 2000 and 2010. So it, it's uh, not a really a new map. And uh, the first, uh, uh, the start of the map is uh, the observation of uh, the geological map of France. And uh, compared to the, um, the maps of uh, uh, damages and uh, we see a good correlation between uh, uh, damages and uh, geology. So this is the start of the mapping uh, method. And um, I will 
give you uh, quickly the, the different steps. Uh, the first one is, um, uh, well, starting from the geological map of France. Uh, the, the geological map is uh, uh, composed of uh, more than 1,000 sheets of um, geological maps. And um, the, the, the exposure map was made uh, department by department. There are uh, 96 departments in France. So the first step was to assemble and harmonize the different sheets for a whole department. That's what I illustrated here. We have, uh, this is the, uh, just a little um, uh, region of the south of France. Uh, we have four uh, geolo geological sheets and they have been uh, harmonized um, to, and combined to form one uh, geological map for one department. The second step is to identify on these maps uh, the geological formation that um, uh, well clay, uh, clay and marl formations that could be um, uh, that could uh, give a shrinking and swelling phenomenon. So um, ge uh, geologists uh, selected uh, or rejected the uh, geological formation uh, on this base. Uh, the next step is to uh, um, characterize each uh, formation and uh, give a, a hierarchy of these formations according to uh, different criteria. We selected three uh, main criteria. The first one is uh, lithology. And uh, lithology is uh, we examined the clay content, uh, the thickness of the geological formation, and its continuity. And uh, this criteria was uh, noted uh, between one and four uh, according to this uh, um, criteria. The second one is the mineralogical uh, criterion. Um, we examine the clay minerals, which one uh, are present in uh, each uh, geological clay formation. Some families are more or less prone to shrink swell phenomenon. And um, we made uh, four categories according to the, um, the clay uh, minerals and uh, the proportion of clay minerals in the geological formation. Uh, the third uh, criterion is the, the geo geotechnical one. And it's based on geo geotechnical parameters. Uh, mainly uh, the plasticity index, the methylene blue test, and results from some uh, odometer test. And the same, we made four categories based on uh, uh, the, the different uh, intervals for uh, those, uh, those tests. Then we averaged those uh, three nodes, and it gives us the susceptibility maps. So uh, each clay formation is uh, as a note between one and three, whether it's uh, more or less um, susceptible to clay shrinking and swelling. Then this map is uh, crossed with um, damages. So the first thing is to um, build a map a density map of uh, damages. Uh, so we made um, uh, a large uh, inquiry uh, in each municipality and, in, and with insurance companies uh, to be able to compute the, the density of uh, damages, that is uh, the number of damages per uh, square kilometer of urban area. And then we cross susceptibility map and damages map, and it gives us the exposure. Um, 
it's um, the susceptibility map gives us only uh, uh, the nature of the soils and damages is um, an indicator of um, it's quite a proxy of uh, the, the, the trigger, uh, triggering factors. At the end, this is the exposition map. Uh, there are four levels of exposure. Um, the white sectors on the map are uh, uh, the non-clay formation. So it's uh, considered uh, a priori non exposed to uh, uh, shrinking clays. And there are three levels, uh, low in yellow, medium in orange, and high in red. So medium and high uh, exposure levels uh, represents 48% uh, of the French territories, a little less than uh, half of the territory. But um, there are 93% of the damages known damages in those two uh, levels. That is why the French uh, Ministry of uh, Environment decided to build its uh, uh, legal um, uh, prevention uh, uh, decree on these two, um, two levels. So as I showed you the comparison between the geological map and the, uh, the claims map, uh, now this is the, uh, the comparison between the claims on the left and exposure on the right. Uh, to see the, the, um, the good correlation. Um, and the last uh, uh, slide, to illustrate the evolution of uh, the phenomenon um, between uh, 1989 and 2002, uh, there were 14% of the municipalities that were impacted by uh, shrinking clays, mainly in the southwest, in the, uh, the center of France. Um, this was uh, a little less than 500 million euros a year uh, for the phenomenon. Between 2003 and 2015, um, more municipalities were impacted. And in 2015, it was 24% of the municipalities uh, for an average of four, uh, a little more than 400 million euros. And during the last uh, eight years, so between 2016 and 2022, uh, it's four, 40 percent of the municipalities and an average of 1.3 billion euros. And what we see is uh, that the phenomenon is uh, evolving uh, eastward and northward. And uh, we, Lamine showed us. Uh, uh, that the new region in the east of France were impacted uh, in the last uh, eight years uh, in the north too. So it means that um, the exposure map that we built uh, will evolve uh, and we have to, to make a, an update of this map according to the, the new damages that were recorded in the last uh, few years. Thank you.